Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Welcome to another video where I talk about some of the, the work that I've managed to do this week. Um, Inkscape is heading towards freeze. Um, this is where uh, we can no longer get features into the mainline branch and instead focus is directed towards fixing and preparing for the release. Um, Inkscape needs quite a long le um, lead up in order to fix uh, many of the bugs and make sure that sort of all of the different use ca cases of Inkscape are tested. Um, so this is why we start now. But before we get into the actual work, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors. Uh, basically, my work here on Inkscape is paid for by spon sponsors who want to make Inkscape better and want to have a certain amount of control over what in Inkscape gets worked on. Um, you have the opportunity to, to join up and basically help me spend more of my time working on Inkscape instead of all the contracts. And also you get to answer polls and basically get involved. Um, so thank you all very much for continuing to support my work. And, uh, and let's get into what that work is. Um, so spring might be coming in the Northern Hemisphere, but Inkscape is entering freeze. Um, this is a tag that's applied to the Inkscape code branch that indicates to all developers that um, features are no longer welcome, uh, at least to be merged. Uh, you can still work on fe features, you just can't expect them to be merged um, in preparation for the release. And also it's, a, it's an indication that uh, all developers should try and refocus some of their efforts towards fixing existing pro problems, especially in things that they may have broken themselves in some fe features that they've added. Sorry about that. So um, this week I have actually been uh, fixing some of the, the merge requests that I still had open that I needed to get merged in. Um, the color stuff, um, some guide stuff, a bunch of other things. Uh, and also Jonathan uh, convinced me to continue the work on the P PDF branch. Um, it's such a large piece of work that I was genuinely worried that I wouldn't have it finished to the quality necessary for the release. There is a, a high degree of risk because it changes so much code um, that those risks are worth taking. And we also have a couple of months of bug fixing and testing to, to sort of weed out all of the rest of the issues. So uh, you should, if you're interested in this PDF, what you should really thank to Jonathan for giving me confidence to um, go back to the work and just trying to get to polish it up so that it's good enough for the merge request re review to get in before the freeze date. Um, mostly, the, mostly then I've been fixing things like clipping uh, raster images that are upside down, drawn text that has the wrong transforms, uh, masking that never really worked at any way. You know, just all sorts of crazy things and reading uh, the PDF spec again. Um, so that's what I've been up to. Let's have a look at some of the other things going on in Inkscape uh, because there are lots of contributors to Inkscape and uh, we like to check in and see, see what's going on. Uh, PBS has been very active. He's been fixing a whole bunch of issues, things like the Canvas item uh, path splitting fix, smoother auto scrolling, and some export dialogue crashes, um, as well as doing some code review for me, which was which has been great. Um, Javier fixed an issue with the command line uh, where you wouldn't be, be able to access certain actions. Uh, Thomas fixed a crash with specifically bad SVG with an empty polyline. Uh, Mike fixed uh, the, uh, some attribute dialogue crashes. Um, and he also added some more stock map sim sim symbols, um, which is all, all, always great. Um, I think Mike was trying to get in more uh, resource sources for the release, but um, the way Inkscape's resources have to ship is they basically have to ship as public domain because um, if you imagine including a symbol from a sim symbols pack that has a Creative Com Commons license, uh, you're essentially now saying that the uh, anybody who creates a piece of artwork with Inkscape also has to abide by that Creative Com Com Commons li license, which isn't really fair. Most people don't expect shipped resources 
to incur some kind of license pen- penalty. Admittedly, I'm not a lawyer. This is just from what I understand. Uh, so it's been really an interesting trying to pick uh, out which things we can actually include in Inkscape. Um, and Mike's been good about that. Okay, so uh, that's it for this week. Um, join me next week. I'm going to be basically t- talking about bug fi- fixing. That's the that's going to be the rote now for the next few months is I'm going to tell you about some bugs that I fixed. I'm going to t- tell you if there's anything funny that's come up. And uh, yeah, we'll see We'll see how smooth we can go. This is definitely the time to start downloading alphas and start da- downloading test versions and see if you, you can set yourself up as a tester. Because the more you test, the more Inkscape 1.3 will be ready for your work. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you all week. I did want to do a funny bit where I, you know, from a shot from outside with the snow, you know, because because Inkscape's freezing, Boston had snow, and it's all melted. So there went that idea. Oh, well. Damn you, climate change!